Hi guys, so unless you've been living on one of those secret planets that Elon Musk has, you have noticed a content creation surge. Everybody wants to do the content creation. They want to pop their booty on the TikTok or they want to do tech reviews on YouTube. And so a lot of companies are coming out with smaller and smaller microphones. You can just stick them on your lapel. No wires, no fuss, just good to go very quick pull them out of a charging case and they are paired and I thought the Hollyland Lark M1 was the king of the hill. That is why I have been using this a lot as my run and gun mic when I'm doing things quickly. But then Comica wrote me and said they were introducing this, the Vimo C. And this is a lot like the Hollyland Lark M1 but it improves on it in many, many ways. So uh, we might have a new king. Let's talk about it. So because I am very fancy and important, Comica sent me the Vimo C pre-release before they released it to the public, so I got to try it out for a couple of weeks, and uh, now I am releasing the video when they have lifted the embargo because I need all of those clicks. I gotta be first. You know, I gotta get that YouTube ad revenue. I need it. I desperately need it. But look at this. Look at the size of these transmitters right here. Can you see this? Look at how small they are. So small and light. And the receiver is also extremely small and light. And do you see that? Do you see the screen? Look at that. You can see the volumes going up and down. And you may have noticed that they are paired already. Of course, I just you pull them out of the charging case and they are paired. You get eight hours of runtime on one of the transmitters. And then the uh, you can get up to 20 hours if you are using the case. But the fact is, the way you use these microphones, running and gunning, like the kids like to say, so you're out vlogging or you're doing interviews, whatever, you just always just stick them right back in this very convenient case and and uh, I just, you never have to worry about the battery on these guys. And you just charge the case right there through USB-C. Absolutely fantastic. And now check this out. Look at the very top there where it says mono. You press the button, it says stereo. You press the button, it says safety. That's right, you can do mono, so you can use one of the transmitters to go into both channels on your camera. Or you can use stereo, and then you will get a transmitter on each different channel channel or you can do a safety track so that in case somebody that you are putting the mic on that they get loud all of a sudden you'll be able to fix that in post because you will have one of the safety tracks which I think will be down by six decibels so that you uh, and you get any little spikes in audio to boy I tell you to have a safety track on this little thing I did not expect that the stereo and mono I expected the safety track I did not. So let me show you what it comes with here. It comes with this really nice carrying case with a zipper that can house not only the actual charger with the mics in it, but all of the accessories. And the accessories, it has a uh, TR s to trrs so that one is for your phone or your tablet and then the trs to trs is from the mic to the actual camera itself it's got these uh you know these funny little fur hats right here that you can put on these don king wigs that goes over the mic when you're out in a windy environment very essential and then it has you know your charging cables to uh, charge it up. So like I said, you can charge it up through the bottom here, but you can also charge each individual unit with the, the USB-C cord. So you don't even need to take the charging case if you wanted to take an even smaller setup. You take these three little things right here and then, um, oh, look at that, that eye autofocus. Man, oh man, it's sticking to me like glue. Look at that, it's cover up my beautiful eyes. So if you wanted just to take these three little things and uh, not take the charging case even though, take the charging case, this thing, this thing is worth the price of admission right here. So here's the case there, there's the cords and the accessories, there is the actual mic charging case with the mic inside. You just zip it up and now look at this. I just take that in my camera bag and go fantastic. But you know what? You, you need to hear the audio, right? Let's go out and test the audio. And uh, hey, here's a bonus, it's a super windy day. Okay, so this is actually a great day to test this microphone because it's a wind warning. So literally, unless you are out filming in a hurricane, and you shouldn't be hurricane blogging people, that is dangerous, then uh, this will be a very good test of the little wind muff it has here. Now, the great thing about this is I'm actually on level three. I can go up to level four on the device itself for volume, which means that you can turn your camera's preamps way down to get a better sound. So right now, 
my Sony ZV-E10 is all the way down to its lowest point, volume one, and you're hearing everything coming from the preamp on this mic itself. And I'm walking towards a noisy area so we can test the noise canceling function, but how does this sound to you right now? I'm not seeing any spikes from the wind itself, which uh, means this little fella is doing a good job. We'll check it out in post to see how it is, but I can tell you one thing, it is very small and very light and having the uh, controls, the onboard, the screen that I can use the controls and press the buttons so that I know what I'm doing, boy oh boy, I am enjoying using this mic. Now let's go somewhere noisy and uh, test that noise cancellation. Okay, so I am at a very noisy intersection here in Toronto, as you can probably tell. I don't like using noise canceling, but uh, on the devices themselves, I find it's a little digital, but let's try this one anyway. So now there's a very noisy bus going by, but I have the noise canceling on. How is it? Normally I don't like using noise canceling when they're on microphones themselves. I like to do my own in post because I find they sound a little bit too digital for my liking, but we will see with the Comica. We'll check it out in post and see how it actually is. Maybe it's quite usable. Let's find out. Okay, so do not use the noise canceling function in my opinion. The Hollyland also has that same similar noise canceling function and it also just does not work very well. Just use the regular modes and then if you need to do any noise canceling, do that later in post yourself. You can manipulate it much better. It's nice that these companies are trying to do that, but I don't think the noise canceling feature is there for anybody yet and I have tested a lot of these type of microphones. So don't use the noise canceling, but did you hear how good the regular audio sounded? It sounded great. It's so convenient. It's so light. I just put it on and then I go. And uh, But I've been talking a lot about the Hollyland, so let's do a direct comparison to the Hollyland Lark M1. So I'm out here nighttime vlogging just to test the Comica mic against the Hollyland Lark M1. So here we go. So this is the sound of the Hollyland Lark M1 during my nighttime vlog. Mark Bennett is as intelligent as he is handsome, which is very. Mark Bennett is as intelligent as he is handsome, which is very. Boy, it is really hard to tell the difference between those two microphones. I actually listened with earphones and I could hardly hear any difference at all, which is a good thing because the Hollyland sounds really great to me. So I'm glad that the Comica does as well. And now the Comica might be a touch richer or fuller, but the Hollyland I think does have one major advantage. And uh, that is like, if you talk like I do, I happen to overload a lot of mics. I don't mean I peak them because I have the levels wrong, but mics themselves can get overloaded. If you like yell too quickly into a microphone, it can get distorted. You overload the little mic itself. And I tend to do that a lot with my nasally leprechaun voice. And the Hollyland, I think, handles that a little bit better. I find that uh, is perhaps it has a higher SPL level so it can take louder sounds. Hold on, I'm unzipping the Comica. Nothing else. I found that I could get the Comica to distort a little bit easier, but that is me. It's the way I talk. Perhaps I speak too harshly because when I spoke normally and calmly like you saw me in the nighttime vlog it sounds absolutely fantastic so for most people I don't think that's going to be an issue at all but if you're someone who finds that you distort a lot of microphones like old Marky here then the Hollyland may be a more attractive offer. Now the Comica comes in at 139 at launch and the Hollyland is currently 149 and honestly these two mics are so great. Now, personally, I would love to be able to plug a lavalier into the transmitters of either of these microphones. That would make these things almost ideal for me. So I am still using the Hollyland Lark 150 a lot because you can plug a lavalier microphone into their transmitters. But I do use these types of mics a fair bit when I'm just running out to go do quick vlogs or do an interview. And I always keep one of these types of things in my bag as a spare and a backup. And I know there's a lot of people out there who don't want the lavaliers. They just want to use the clip and put it on. And in that case, I would say get one of these two microphones because the transmitters are so tiny and light and they are a joy to use. You just open the charging case and they are connected. So once again, thanks to Comica for sending out the Vimo C for review. You guys have made a heck of a microphone here. I say heck because I don't want to get 
demonetized. This is just, if you don't need a lavalier plugged in, you wanna use a lapel mic, this thing is a beauty and it just might be my new setup for my quick vlog style life. And I do do that, I do do the vlog style life. So uh, Kamika, you did a good job. Love the competition. Stuff is getting so good these days. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again soon. Oh, right down below uh, what, what microphone you use, what type you use. Do you like the live? Do you like the clip on the shirt? Let me know. I'll talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.